So today I'm going to try and make a top with the overlocked seams going down it that's really popular at the moment. I have a bit of sewing experience but not that much so let's see how this goes. Okay so what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to um, cut my white top, I just showed you, into a crop top and then add the bit from the bottom of the top to the sleeves to create long sleeves. And then this I'll cut this into three segments that I'll then put up onto the sleeves. I want to go for this like overlock style at the top. So yeah, there'll be like seams going down the top. I hope this looks good because I've only ever seen it on tight fitting tops before, so we'll see. So here I'm starting to pin up the top to the length that I want it. For this I just do it while it's on because it's easier to know like how it looks. Because obviously everyone likes their crop t-shirts to be like different lengths. And on me I, I wanted it like about this length. So I'm just going to use some fabric scissors to cut along this line. Um, I wasn't too bothered about it being perfect, but obviously you could use a ruler to make sure it was exactly straight if you wanted. I just left this as a raw edge, so I did make sure that there wasn't like jagged bits. So I'm just going to cut that leftover bit from the bottom into three sections. Um, I need to make sure that the sections all fold in half, so I'm going to do the first one and then I'll take that longer bit and I'll fold it to the same length, if that makes sense, so that there's a, an edge on, on all three pieces. just need to do some maths in my head. I actually did A level maths, you wouldn't be able to guess from this for how long it took me to work out how to divide this number into three, <laughs> but we got there eventually. Next I'm just going to cut the seams of these sleeves so that um, I can fold them more easily for the overlocking stitch so it doesn't get in the way. So what I just mumbled there is I need to sew the sleeve to the extension sleeve. Um, so I'm just going to pin that together and I'm just trying to work out which side goes to which for this the stitch that I need to do. Material on this, I think. Probably better to have a cotton t shirt. 
this column that's not stretching. I don't know that this is the best way to do it, you know. I'm gonna get the sewing machine out and off. Okay, we're back with less precariously balanced camera as well. So, I also don't know how to overlock on the sewing machine, so I'll probably have to look that up. never actually used an overlocking stitch before so um, I think there's actually a specific machine you can get to do it but I'm just looking up how to do it on this sewing machine. That's what we're trying to do. So I just had to choose a colour thread to use, um, I wanted to use the contrasting colour so I picked out a few colours that I thought might work. I'm back and I think either this blue or this grey, don't really have many choices. I don't think that contrasts enough. Grey could be nice because that's quite might be too much. A bit worried that that's not gonna be enough contrast. Stands out a lot. Is it too much? Let's have a look at Pinterest. Pinterest always helps us. Need board. I'm going to do everything to do with the dark colour. So I think that's not going to be dark enough. I had to re-thread this sewing machine so many times over this project because the thread kept snapping for some reason. By the end of this, I was very fed up with doing it. I just realised you're quite washed out. I don't know if you're able to even see what you're doing. Let's hope so. I'm just going to use a black one for the um, underneath thread. Should normally use the same colour, but unless you're looking to do it for it to stand out. So I guess I could just set it on purpose. You're going to regret that. That's mm -hmm. the I 
let's just see how this goes, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to sew it while it's still open because I think it'll be easier and because I just want to do this straight away because I'm impatient. So I just need to You're gonna look like that. that. really trial and error but I feel like that's the best way to do things. I never know how to do everything in life so <laughs> that's crazy. I think that's gonna be the problem making sure that both pieces of material are in line. going on is I need to interior on that side. Most of this video you can just hear me mumbling so just ignore that please. <laughs> is to remember that slow and steady wins the race. And I'm very impatient, so. <laughs> also, um, with stretch material, if you pull it tight, it will go like crinkly, which is an effect that um, people like to make on tops at the moment. Um, so, yeah, if you don't want that, you just need to not pull it taut as much, but you always will get a bit of a wrinkle with with stretch material really. Well, I always do. <laughs> so I'm sure a pro or someone that knows what they're doing could probably get it straight, but 
I'm not at that level yet. <laughs> I think some of this I haven't got quite close enough to the edge, so it's still got a bit. Which doesn't look the best, but. Ooh! That was terrifying. <laughs> it's that again. Maybe someone can tell me what I'm doing wrong and why it's snapping so much. I'm actually really stupid. Probably everyone saw this coming. I, of course, it really did matter that this under thread was black because you can see both sides on this top. Um, it was purpose. It was on purpose. So um, it's like those tops that you swipe and they different colours on both sides. That, that was what this is meant to be. Black on one side, blue on the other. Luckily it's a very dark blue so you can't, can't tell that much in, in the light to be honest. I'm learning. That's, that's what this is. Oh, mess. 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 <laughs> oh dear. We're going to carry on because that's all we can do from here. I mean I could unpick it but... Ultimately I probably should have just tested it on one of these bits of materials. Do that, so we'll just continue. I really thought I got be would have got better by the end of it, but I think it still looks just as messy. It's quite cool how this works, actually. I'll show you a bit, but there's like a little prong, 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 prong. Hopefully, by the time we get to the last one, it will look really good. <laughs> I'll have loads of practice. Okay, so we finished the second sleeve. The only problem we have is that big cap there. <laughs> but I'm thinking I could maybe, I've got loads of scraps there. Maybe put in like a, a bold colour. I don't know. I'll think of some problems and come back. What? Well, think of some solutions and come back. Okay, so I'm going to move on from the sleeves because while I've still got the blue threaded, just so I don't have to keep threading and unthreading, I've pinned the line. Or should I say I've used needles instead of pins because. I didn't, for some reason I had about 100 pins, needles but no pins. I just measured out at the bottom caps. Um, I didn't do them all even. I did these two the same width and then a bigger one in the middle. Just to give it a bit more interest. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've just pinned that line down and I'm going to go down it with the overlock stitch now. Seems to be going well so far. A bit neat to number four. Ta-da! Not too bad. Stitches are definitely very different lengths but um, it doesn't look too bad. Okay and I'll just go on to the next one. Okay, I've actually just had another idea. That's the problem with making things, they kind of come to you as you're going along. So I just finished doing all the seams down the front. Um, I haven't decided whether I can pull this through the back here or not. Probably will, just because I think it would look better, because I hate when there's things on the front and nothing on the back. But in regards to the sleeves, I was just going to sew it back up, but then I thought it might be cool just to have and splits in the sleeves so yeah if I just overlock the edges there's going to be a split and then I'll try it on and see if the sleeve's long enough and if it's not I can, I've got a tiny bit of material left that I can add another section onto the end so yeah I'm just going to overlock these sides and then I'll pick. 
Okay, I'm not sure how I feel about it at the moment. I've only done one sleeve because normally when you get a split it wouldn't be on the inside of the arm. See? Um, I think I'm going to put another seam where the shoulder is. Um, and then I need to definitely make the sleeves a bit longer because they're not quite long enough. So I'll probably just cut this end bit off or just overlock the other one to it from there onwards. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this front bit. I think this looks really good. I'll have a think uh, while I get on with the other sleeve and adding some more weight. I'm going to sew the sleeves up. I don't think it looks good. Still can't decide what to do in the neckline. I think I might overlock the top of this and if I don't like it I can cut off this um, hem and then overlock the bit that's up and not hemmed. So I sewed up the sleeves. Um, and I left this peephole kind of I don't know I think I like it it's kind of different um, and I did the neckline and I don't know how I feel I think I think if I cut it, it'll be too low. I like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to do the final touches and I'll show you the finished top. I'm quite happy with how it turned out really. Um, yeah, the only thing I'm not so sure on is these sleeves just because I feel like that's weird but I kind of like the extra detail so I'm gonna see how I feel but um, I just styled it with these boiler suit that um, I just put a belt on and um, some necklaces um, I also really fan of bearing so if you have like a mesh top that would look really nice especially with the sleeves I think yeah, and in the end I decided to put just one seam on the back, half because I didn't want to do <laughs> the four, and half partly because I kind of like the difference. I hope you enjoyed this video, my sewing, on the <laughs> trying to get better at sewing, and um, there'll be more next week. DIY. Now I just need to tidy away. <laughs>